Hey, Astro Kids, and welcome back. Today, we'll be talking about the Amacha Karka. And just to give a quick recap, the Amacha Karka is all about supporting our soul's purpose in life. It is the planet that supports us, that guides us, that helps us to move towards our journey in life. And so naturally it is related to the second and eighth house of the chart, which are the supporting houses. It's all about our resources, our assets, how we can use this to gain the sustenance that we need out of life. So what happens then when the sun becomes the Amachakarika in the chart? With the sun as the Amachakarika, this shows that your way of gaining sustenance, your way of following your true purpose in life is to be influential, to inspire others, to be in some form of leadership. So this can take you into high positions of authority, into administrative work, working in the government sometimes can be seen, dealing with government policies. This can make you a politician, a business person, someone with a very strong personality, this ability to influence and guide people within society. So if the moon is the Amachakarika, then this means that your emotions are going to help guide you along this journey in life, that your way of gaining sustenance is doing something that you love, that you feel passionate about, that your whole heart is in. And this can be related to nurturing people as well, as the moon is the signifactor of the mother. So you may be doing something in relationship with counseling, teaching, nursing, healing people with this position, guiding people, showing people the way. This could involve the medical field in some way. The moon also deals with performance and creativity. So you can also go into acting, into music, dance with this position. Ultimately, you want to bring a sense of security, of happiness, of comfort to other people. So this makes you very much inclined towards wanting to help those in need. Sometimes with this position, there may be fluctuations in your work because moon waxes and wanes. So you want to see what is the position of moon in the chart. This becomes extremely important. If Mars is the Amacha Karka, then this means that definitely your pursuits in life, your ability to gain sustenance and wealth comes from doing something involved with leadership or taking on challenges huge responsibilities in life because Mars is the warrior. So this may take you into military, into police, defense, anything involving weapons, protection with this placement, dealing with emergency and crisis situations. This could also show that you could work as a surgeon with this position or do any kind of medical profession because Mars being the warrior is associated with sharp weapons and blood as well. So this can also be seen. Mars is a signifactor for real estate. So you may be working in some field that has to do with real estate, managing property in some way. This placement could get you involved with geology, with anything related to the earth, with this placement can be seen. Even engineering is also associated with Mars. Sports activities, anything where you have to apply your strength and physical abilities can be seen with this position as well. Definitely, you may be going through some challenges and difficulties because Mars is a malefic planet, but ultimately Mars gives you the strength to overcome some of these challenges in your pursuits in life. So you have the ability to rise again after any setback with this placement. If Mercury is your Amachakarika, then this means that your intelligence is going to help you towards moving towards your soul purpose, towards gaining that sustenance in life. Any kind of training that you're doing with this position will help you. Knowledge-based skill set is going to help in this area for sure. Mercury also is the planet of communication. So you may be doing some version of work that has to do with communicating, interacting with people, with dealing with small details, calculations can be seen with this placement. You use your analytical abilities to deal with your work life if you have Mercury as the Amachakarika. This can make you very skilled with technology, or you may be applying some kind of technical skill to your work as well. Mercury is a natural businessman, so you may be skilled in the areas of business, 
advertising sales marketing with this position as well. Dealing with media with this placement can be seen. You may be into accounting, again, dealing with numbers, calculations. Mathematicians can be seen with this. This can make you an excellent teacher as well, using your communication skills and your intelligence in this way. This may make you a researcher. Anyone who is in any field dealing with information data can be seen with this. A journalist also can be seen with this placement, and even an astrologer can be seen as well. If Jupiter is your Imachakarika, Jupiter has to do with wisdom, with knowledge. So definitely whatever you do has to do with putting out knowledge within society. So definitely in order to fulfill your soul purpose, in order to gain this sustenance in life, you pursue something that has to do with knowledge. And so definitely acquiring knowledge is going to help you in this way. This could also show that a spiritual practice could be associated with what you do through your work as well, that this helps you to grow in this area. You could be a counselor, an advisor with this position, anyone who's giving guidance to others, a film director, you could be a professor, a teacher with this placement. Also, Jupiter has to do with wealth and security, so you could be working in banking, accountancy can be seen as well. Definitely, you could be a manager with this position. Again, this ability to direct and guide others can be seen. You could be a religious leader with this being associated with spirituality. Jupiter also, though, is about the higher principles, about the laws. So you could be working in politics and government with this position as well. Venus as the Amachakarka shows that in order to fulfill your sole purpose and to gain sustenance in life, you have to move towards what you enjoy doing in life for sure. It has to be aligned with what's in your heart. This is very important. And also it usually has something to do with what you feel passionate about or how you're able to express yourself because Venus is a very emotional planet. It has to do with this creative talent. So definitely you could go into any of the arts with this placement into beauty, design, fashion, entertainment. You could do very well in these areas. This could also make you skilled in the private sector, which can be seen through Venus as well. And you can do any kind of work in diplomacy can be seen with this also. Venus is all about creating a sense of peace and diplomacy for sure. So even working through the government can be seen sometimes with this placement. Ultimately, whatever you end up doing though with this tends to be something that you feel passionate about. You enjoy your work. And this is the most important thing when Venus becomes the Amachakarika. Saturn as the Amachakarika can be a bit of a difficult position sometimes. What it can show is that your soul's purpose, your mission in life, and the way that you sustain yourself has a lot to do with hard work and perseverance. So definitely it's going to demand a lot of patience and discipline out of you. And you may do work that requires a lot of repetition as well. So it can be a very monotonous job that demands a lot from you. Sometimes this placement could also show some delays or obstacles in finding your direction in life. So it may take you some time to actually figure out what you are going to do as far as your work goes with this placement sometimes. It also could show some delay in your success. It shows that through discipline and hard work, you will gain success, but it it will come with time. You're going to slowly build this success through your hard work and commitment. Sometimes this placement can show that you could work in a prison, hospital, institutions of all kinds. This placement could also show doing some kind of mining work, working underground, dealing with iron, steel, petroleum can be seen sometimes. It also, though, can indicate government work. And you could be involved with politics, with social reform, trying to make a difference within society. This definitely makes you a true humanitarian with this placement. And you could also work with dealing with policies in the government sometimes with this placement also. Now, if Rahu is the Amachakarika, this is a very interesting position. Because the Amachakarika has so much to do with what's guiding us towards our soul path and how we gain sustenance and security in life, this is a very intriguing position. 
Rahu as the Amacha Karaka can show that your path is very different and unconventional from other people. So sometimes there are some issues with this position. Other people can talk you out of your path of your dreams in life, but ultimately your unique and innovative way will gain you a great deal of success. So you tend to do something that is out of the ordinary that requires a lot of intelligence and thinking outside the box. This can make you a very clever person with this position for sure. Sometimes this placement can show an interest in psychology or dealing with computer technology with new age information. This could also show that you can gain a great deal of success with this position, but sometimes there's a need to stop and appreciate that success because Rahu is that desire that never ends. So this can definitely make you a hugely ambitious person, but it can come with a feeling of never feeling fulfilled or satisfied with your achievements. You're constantly chasing after more and more achievements in life. Ultimately, this placement can sometimes make you confused about your path. Sometimes it can take time for you to actually find your true direction. But ultimately, what you do stands out as different or unique in some way. You have this way of standing outside the crowd and really setting trends and doing things that are very different. So ultimately, this placement can give you a great deal of success, of fame even sometimes. So I hope you all enjoyed this. If you like this, don't forget to leave a like. If you are new to this channel, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and I will see you all in the next video.